Alrighty, two strikers, one tether. We got two icebreakers. We got one trespasser. Let's do it. Wipe them out. B.O. Sox, Boston Red Sox, and Mr. I'm So Alive. Peace out. Well, he was up there. I ripped it. Thought it was going to hit it, but I ripped it. He was there. That was my opportunity. Crap, there's one underneath. Let me see if I can isolate this guy. Okay, so now I'm in a really weird spot. Wow, he got the melee off of me. I got a kind of abandoned ship here. I can see the res, which is good. I'm just nervous someone's going to get an angle from over there. While I only have one on radar. Okay, now they're both on radar. We're good. If they keep waiting, I can get wombo combos before they can get the revive. Which will make getting their revive really difficult. One's getting frisky. Oh, God. Okay, who do I go after and why? Who do I go after and why? Let's go after this guy. Makes it harder for them to get res. Oh, God. That was awkward timing. Trespassers hurt, man. So there's one right next to me. Oh, God. So many lightning nades. Let's avoid that area. I've... Oh, hello, red bars. Cool. It's not my connection. My connection's fine. I just looked at my stream. I'm not lagging. Um... We have been the kings of awkward timing so far in these 1v3s. Awkward timing that right when I decide to push around that corner and finally go after him is right when he decides to, you know, go and get the freaking revive. Mm. When I finally stop guarding it, he goes for it. Like, really? Bad snipe by me. Okay, let's get out of here because they've got multiple angles on me. Are you going to chase? Yes, he is, and there's one behind me, too, so I've kind of got to go forward. Whew. I'm surprised I made it out of there. Those doorways confuse me. He is laggy. This is fantastic, man. Now I'm out of ammo. Oh, God. Thank you for killing yourself with your lightning nade when I didn't have any sidearm ammo. That was super necessary. Yikes. All right, we're going to go for that snipe at the beginning again. We're going to look up from underneath, see if we get that hunter going back there. Let's check it out. Let's see. But I also got to try to grab some special because in 1v3s with, my, with 18 bullets in your sidearm, I will run out before I finish the round off. I will. Okay, I was like, I thought I hit that. What's up, dude? Damn it. Damn it. All right, well, let's back up. Um, they are being aggressive here. Let's get some special. He can't rush me right now because of that tether. I know right where he is. I know where both the revives are. Oh my god. I almost ran out of ammo there. I didn't reload, I guess, after getting the uh, special. Or I shot 12 bullets quicker than I realized. So we lost the... Um, what am I trying to say? We lost my tether, which is not good. But won the round, and I think I had to use it because I was weak. I kind of just had to do it. So yeah, there's that. Getting a different angle. Keeping them on their toes. Juggernaut shield is not something I'm used to seeing anymore. Should kill him. How is this dude next to me not dead? Damn it, damn it, damn it. Just trying to stay away from both the lightning and their primaries. We can go back towards the res a little bit. So there's one behind me that's not really pushing yet. One just rushed up top. Okay, this is getting really strange here. Oh boy. Okay, let's get a new angle here. They're still not going for res. I, can I get to a spot where I can guard it? This is so awkward. It's ridiculous. They keep missing their jump. Ugh, shade 7 side. Ugh. Okay, so we've got a res down here. We've got a res up top. They're still outside, I think. He's going to middle. Okay, by far, that man is the least um, able out of the three of them. Steve. So when I get stuck in 1v3s with him, it's good. Or 1v1s with him, it's good. 
We are experiencing a little bit of lag, but it's not really affecting the gameplay yet. Mark, thanks for the resub. I know it's not 18 months that's broken as hell. He says, I'm okay. Thanks, dude. All right, let's go and see if we can get a snipe right here. Again, the reason I went on the top balcony on that last round is because he kept expecting me from bottom. So I figured I would change it up, make it confusing. This is going to be interesting. Okay, so we got the guy who got heavy down. There's Steve. Okay, this guy's trespasser and he's got his super. I think he's trying to smash. <sighs> he was going to try to smash me, but I got away from it. So he still has smash. He's still going to go for it. And then how it works in 1v3 is one person uses their super. The other people get the orbs and super start cycling. So this game is not over. I have uh, actually my best choke in 1v3s happened on this map. I went from a 4-0 to losing the game. So it's not over. We got to keep focused. Got to keep doing our best to keep revives down and stuff. Trying out different plays and different angles. I'm going to be a little bit more passive this round. Because I know they want to come to me because they have super. So I'll let them do that. And in hopes of them isolating themselves at some point while kind of chasing after me. Just keep jumping past them and stuff. Somebody's going to end up alone and in a spot I can probably take them out. There goes Steve. So the other two were the harder ones to kill. Darn, I actually had an ability to hit that shot. Okay, last guy is the one with smash. So keep distance. Trespass or smash. Cool. That's a good game. I think we demonstrated pretty well how you can maneuver around this map and keep things difficult for the enemy team. Huh. I would have tethered. My problem with tether, though, for those who are like, why didn't he just use tether and make sure he got the kill? If I go aggressive with tether there and don't hit him, then all of a sudden I'm right on top of him and he can just smash. You know, all of a sudden I'm right there and I get smashed. So I didn't want to be aggressive with it. I liked tethers for the most part to be defensive, but... It worked. We hit the snipe. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you had fun watching some 1v3 action. Even though 1v3s are getting a little stressful for me. I'm not going to lie. They're not as much fun as they used to be. So don't be surprised on YouTube if they don't appear as often. We'll see. We'll see. Thanks for watching. Check the description. Love you guys.